Hey everyone, I'm James CW and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to play my song You and Me off my album Chapters. Before we get into it though, I just want to mention that in the description we're going to be putting timestamps. So there are different sections in the song and if you get stuck on a certain section, all you need to do is go to the description, click on the timestamp that's right for you and then it will take you to the right place. That being said, let's get into it. So for this song, you're going to need a capo. Uh, if you don't have a capo, you can try and use a pencil with a hair tie. Google it. I'm not going to teach you how to do that. But the song is in standard tuning and we're going to have four sections to this song. There's quite a lot of sections and this is definitely more difficult than the other songs that we've done tutorials for. So, starting out with the intro, which is also the verse, it is a picked pattern. With the capo on the fourth fret, you're putting your second finger on the seventh fret of the E string. And again, like the other songs, I'm muting, palm muting, near the bridge, the, all the strings that I'm playing at this, at this point. So, you're playing two down strokes on the E string, one up stroke on the open D string, then two more on the E string, and then an up, up stroke again. So, it goes like this. After that, we are, we're taking our finger off the E string, putting our first finger on the sixth fret of the A string, and doing the same pattern. We are then moving off a second finger onto the seventh fret of the A string, and our first finger down to the sixth fret of the D string. And we're playing So all we're doing there is we take first note on the D string is with this finger on and second note is with it off. So on, off, playing that twice, on, off. When you combine all of those, I'll play it slowly, it sounds like this. That is the intro to the song, and that also is the verses to the song. So at normal speed, it's around, it's around this. So moving on, the next part is the pre-chorus. Now, we're going to get a bit more chordy here uh, before the chorus, but all we're doing is we're putting our second finger on the 6th fret of the D string, which is that note, and we're going to pluck this one time with the E string open and the G string open, those two. So it's going to sound like this. We are then moving our first finger to the 6th fret of the E string, and we're also putting our second finger on the 6th fret of the G string. We're plucking E, D and G again, so those two together sound like this. The next one is second finger on the seventh fret of the E string, and I'm playing open D and open G. So it's going, I lie, I lie. There is a note on the G string, second finger is on the, which fret would that be? eighth fret of the G string, and your first finger is, is still on that seventh fret of the E string. That's what it should be, not the other one. So those three combine. Then I'm plucking the open A and open D, which sounds pretty rubbish on its own, but it's good in everything else. We're then putting the first finger on the 6th fret of the A string, plucking with the open D again. And then the last one, stay with me here, is the second finger is going on the 7th fret of the A string, and the first finger is going on the 6th fret of the D string. So it's sounding like this. Thank you. 
you can either choose to play that last one like that, or you can choose to pick it like this. So the, the second finger stays in the same place, and then the ring finger is on the same fret, the seventh fret on the B string. You can either choose to play it like that, or you can do this. I'll play that one more time. Just focus on the right hand picking, keeping these fingers in the same place. We're playing this two times round. So I'll play the whole thing now. And on that second time, you only do the kind of arpeggio one time. That is the pre-chorus, probably the most difficult part of the whole song. So well done if you got that. Then we're moving on to the chorus. Now this is kind of full chordy sounding, big, strummy, open. We're not really palming anymore. First chord would be a G, but because we've got the capo, it's something else, but I don't even know what it is. Uh, where your fingers are, are the second fingers on the seventh fret of the E string. Your first finger is on the sixth fret of the A string, and your ring, ring finger is on the seventh fret of the B string. That's the chord that you should have. I'm not really strumming the bottom E string, I'm just doing every other one. And I kind of play this all down strokes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then I'm keeping my ring finger in the same place, putting my second finger on the sixth fret of the G string and first finger on the sixth fret of the E string. This is the next chord, same amount of strokes. If we count that, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16 which is quite a lot. <laughs> 16 strokes of each one. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're taking these two fingers off and we're actually just squidging them together, both on the sixth fret of the A and the D. But that's only eight strokes. 16, 16, eight. Then last chord is we are putting our second finger on the seventh fret of the A and our first finger on the sixth fret of the D. So, you're doing that whole thing twice. As long as I got you and me Moving through this world as a two-man team I'll always have everything I need You don't even realize And again, what you mean No one could fall for you quite like me and No one could get me so perfectly You don't even realize Back to the previous chord Back to the final chord. Is it the final chord? I don't know, you tell me. Um, ending with the second chord that we play in the chorus, which is sixth fret E, sixth fret G. That is the whole chorus. Now that is tricky too. This is a, a trickier song for sure. If you combine those three parts together, you will have the intro, you will have the verse, you will have the pre-chorus, and you'll have the chorus. Now, the last section is basically a more simplified version of the chorus. It's the bit that goes, you, 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 me, 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 together. And what we're doing is playing the same chord as we do at the start of the chorus, the, the kind of G chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight strokes. Then we're just taking this finger off and just playing everything except the bottom and the top one here. You, you, together. So, you, 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 me, 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 together. Then last chord is the same as the last chord of the chorus, but I'll go over it. It's the second finger on that seventh fret with the first finger on the sixth fret. Playing that 16 times. Oh, I want you, 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 me. Mm -hmm. 
I will now play all of those combined, which is going to take a bit of time. But I, I know you guys can get it. I'll play it a little bit slower than I usually do, so you can kind of follow along. Here we go, starting with the intro. Pre-chorus. Post chorus. for getting this far you guys that is a lot to take in a lot of chords a lot of strumming but you've got this far if you're going to have a go at doing your own version of it please send it to me on a video i have a playlist which i'm going to pick my favorite covers and my favorite players to put on it and i would love for you to be on that playlist thank you again for tuning in and i'll see you soon